Okay, boys, welcome. This this is the the BMX platform. Um, the broad mindful expression. It's good to have you here. Obviously, we've had um, months of planning to be here. We're finally here now. So welcome, and um, hopefully, we'll talk everything football. Um, so I'm just gonna do a very quick, brief introduction of your names and like what role you play in the team, and then we will basically like kick off from there on. So um, just next to me, we've got Ricky, who's the captain for the team. The name of the team is Almighty Giants, um, commonly known as AMG. My name is Rakan Hijaz, uh, aka Ricky. I am the captain of the uh, Almighty Giants, the team I play for. Uh, I play almost. I play every position, uh, former keeper, now I play either defence, I'm very aggressive, I'm physical, I'm a beast, I never give up. I, I assist my teammates because sometimes they give up, like they're down, they don't have that mentality. So I support them, I motivate them to be stronger. Uh, I'm from South Africa slash Palestine. Um, yeah, that's all about me and this team, I feel like we're going to make it a long way, we're going to be successful. We're all going to make it as footballers if that's our dream. Um, next to next to him, we've got um, Sandro, uh, our only left footer. We're yeah, still recruiting yeah, we're more, but our pure left footer. I'm left footer. I'm the only left footed player in the group. And then we've got our vice captain over there, Mpo. Oh, my name is Mpo Nyamande, and I, I play for AMG, which is Almighty Giants. And I play, uh, my, my, my position is defense. Um, just a little to my left, we've got Lesejo, um, our third captain, might I mention. Hello, my name is Lesejo Sisiko. I play midfield. My inspirational player is Phil Foden. I support Man City. I'm from South Africa. And then we've got um, Kuki over there. Otherwise, um, Karim. Hello, guys. My name is Kareem Hijaz Jr. I'm from Saudi Arabia and South Africa. I play for the club AMG. My position is left wing, striker, midfielder. And I'm glad I play for AMG. It's a good club. My captain, Ricky, slash Rakan Hijaz. Yeah, he's a good captain and an amazing player. So, yes, boys, let's talk about the journey. Um, so, obviously, we started this team um, and we've been doing well together. You know, we've grown... Um, from one pillar to, to the next, and we, we continue to see progress. But I just want to loop you in, like what does playing for Almighty Giants mean for each one of you? So we're going to start with our captain. Talk us through the journey. So um, it's an honor to play for Almighty Giants. The team just started with coach, our amazing coach, walking in on the field and saying, I'm gonna, I, I would feel like I want to train you boys. You guys have potential. He came in, he trained us, we made a plan, we even named the group. It's, it's very amazing, impressive. It's, it's, it's an amazing journey we made. Like, I'm, I'm very grateful for Coach. Like, I hope he doesn't leave us soon. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, Ricky. Um, I hope so too. Um, Lesejo. Um, tell us more, like, um, since you've started this journey, what kind of player were you, um, where are you now as a footballer? Well, coach, when I first started, I didn't know what I was doing football, couldn't do anything, struggling to find balance in football. But when I met you, you helped grow my mentality, um, my play style. Mm -hmm. I just learned to play football from there. I'm really grateful. Hope you don't leave us. You've brought us, you brought me from the ground up. Thank you, thank you, Lesejo. Very encouraging words. Um, Kuki, over to you, sir. So, um, when we first started, um, I was very bad. Like, my, the only thing that I had good was my dribbling. Then when you came, you helped me with my, my nice touches, good footwork, nice play style, nice passing and nice finishing. And I'm very grateful to have you. Fingers crossed you don't leave because it has been an amazing journey, as what Ricky said. So, yeah. Thanks, Cookie. Um, Sandro? 
Uh, I'm so grateful to be in the Almighty Giants, Coach. Um, I'm happy to be in the Almighty Giants. Um, very blessed, Coach. I couldn't really play football before I met you, and then you really like inspired me to become better and better myself. And I'm just, and I'm just grateful for you always, you always coming every day to come train us out of your own time. And thank you, Coach. Thank you, thank you, um, Sandro. Um, Paul? Oh, coach, uh, I don't have to say uh, about our journey. It's just uh, <coughs> I learned how to control ball while you there. I was that overpaced guy, couldn't control a lot. Uh, <coughs> so when you came in, uh, things just started to change. And I'm so grateful that you were in my life. And like, wish many more, more years to come. Yes, coach. Wonderful. Um, so thanks, boys, um, for your words, your kind words. Um, so we're going to get a bit deeper now into football, right? Um, so I'm going to start with um, you, Ricky, um, our captain. Um, so one of the reasons why we selected you as a captain so that everybody could understand what, what, what the thought process was, um, we selected you as the captain because you, you have natural leadership skills. And I think the, the common theme around the team was that everybody enjoyed playing with you in, in, in their side. So whenever we're making teams, everybody would scream, I want to be in Ricky's team. And so we thought um, it was a no-brainer to make you a captain because you communicate with the guys very well. You have chemistry with the guys. But what I found very interesting about how you play football was that um, you, were more, you were more selfless which is what a leader is. It's not about you, it's about everyone else. So you work hard for the team. If you see that everybody is down, you are able to basically pick them up. Like, um, where did that come from? Like, were you always like that or did you have to develop it or what happened? So I was actually a very quiet player. I never spoke much. I was, I was, yeah, I was a quiet player. So when you came in coach, um, I. It gave me that spark in my heart, like something just woke me up, saying you're motivational, you inspire your team, you, you don't let your team down, you, you work hard for your team. So it's just when you came in, it's, it wasn't from long ago, it's, I, don't, I don't know if it's natural, but it just came up like that. Mm. Okay, so I guess then it was hidden, you, you were not aware of it, and then I basically brought it up. Um, one of the things that I, one of the feedbacks that I gave you Mpo, was that you were always like a phenomenal player, but you were like playing within your shell. Like you, you never wanted to kind of like express yourself. And as good as you were, the one thing I told you was that like you needed to take more of a leadership approach, which is you need to be there for your team. You need to support your team a bit more. You need to show up a bit more. So like since the person that you were, like a person that hides and now to the person that you are now where you take leadership, you're able to tell your team this is where you move and even when they're done, you're able to motivate them to say, okay, we can still do this. What has changed? Uh, coach, like Vicky said, give us motivations. Yes, because uh, I, I, I thought like I can't keep this uh, selfless thing uh, forever. So like I needed to come out and like express uh, myself to, yeah. And co uh, 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 my quietness, I'm not usually that person, but uh, I don't know what happened. But you, when you just uh, came into our lives, I was like, okay, let me do some difference in my life and stop being that quiet guy. Just that like, yes coach. Okay, that's very good. And by the way, um, one of the things that I like to highlight about you is you've got a very physically imposing stature, right? But like most people that have like a big build, they don't have technical ability. But with you, you've got technical ability. You can drive with the ball. You can run with the ball. So it's almost like you've got a very deceiving body that, okay, maybe you're all about just the physical work. And even the physical work wasn't really there before I had to get it out of you to say that you need to be a bit more physical because you've got the body. But yeah, I just wanted to put it out there that you balance it well with your technical um, ability. Okay, let's move on to Cookie. 
um, otherwise known as Karim. Cookie, um, you're arguably the most natural, naturally gifted player we have in our team. Um, and I still told you that um, that gets you through the door, but that's not going to keep you um, in the room. That's not going to be enough for you. You need to do a bit more. What are some of the things that I told you that you need to improve on? Um, my mentality, first of all, and um, not to stay with the ball. I have to run with the ball. And I mustn't go into tight spaces. And when I dribble a person, I need to look up and pass. Mm. Let's talk about your mentality. What was wrong with your mentality? I gave up too easily. Still the only one in our team. And I said that's special. You, you are in a very good space where you are the only one. You, you specialize in that goal. But then I realized that that quickly became your limitation because like, there was nothing you could do outside of your left. And I wanted you to basically work on incorporating your right as well so that your game is not so limited and predictable. Um, how has that improved your game? It's improved a lot, Coach, to be honest with you. Now I can at least pass with my right, kind of shoot at the right. But I'm still practicing with my right, Coach. But I have it, I'm not relying on my left as much as I used to. Definitely my shooting coach. I couldn't shoot before. I couldn't shoot before really. Um, I like. I also couldn't really run fast with the ball. Like I could never keep the ball with my legs when I run. Yeah. And my and my physical, like physical body weight. Yeah. Okay. Your physical attributes. Yeah. All right. Cool. <coughs> no doubt. Sometimes when that's only if the other the opposition has the ball. If we have the ball, I like it to be two and then one at the back. So in case they get a counter attack, there's at least someone there to pressurize them. Um, we also like what well, what I like is passing and reading spaces. I would love to see my teammates 
beat spaces so I could just like <coughs> give it to them while the opposition is not looking behind them. So yeah, that's one of the tactics we have, you know, to see. Do you guys, anyone, does anybody want to answer why do we use a triangle formation when we're basically <coughs> playing out from the back? Um, I think we use it when we play at the back. Yes. I think because uh, the pitch building, there's two of them, right? So like... To beat the press. To beat the press. Yes. So when we use the triangle formation, we're trying to beat the press. So it makes passing options very much more easier. So think of a triangle shape and you are at the tip of that triangle. So you have two options. So if they close one option, you have the other option. And if they close two options, you can progress with the ball. You can move forward with the ball and the triangle stays there. Um, we have um, a new member who just joined us, one of the teammates as well. Yeah, welcome. Uh, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. Um, Daniel, you're going to have to give us a brief. Um, so what does it mean for you to play for Almighty Giants? Um, where do you play? Who are you? Tell us more about yourself very quickly and break. So my name is Shail. Um, I play CDM, sometimes Defender. And what it means to play for AMG is just passion. Like, passion in the club is really good and just have fun. Yeah. Okay. Um, and um, since you joined the team and where you are now, like, um, what is in hope? So I was terrible before I joined. Uh, I've improved drastically because of the coach and all of my teammates. Hey, buddy. Yeah, um, very similar to Lesefo. Um, Shaquille has very good on the ball qualities. Um, one of those players who you look at and physically, he's got the stature. But um, I quickly realized that um, he wasn't really aware of how to use his body, but um, very good um, distributor of the ball, particularly long passes. Um, one thing that I noticed that Shaquille needed to do much more was to, to be more visible in the game, to, to be more physically imposing, um, to, to also not play within his shell because he has um, a tendency or a semblance of just like hiding in, in certain situations, especially if they're not really um, to his liking, but he's a very, very uh, technically gifted player. Um, his ball striking technique is also very um, beautiful. Um, it's, it's one to basically know. So I was very impressed with um, how he basically takes up instruction. But the one he Thing, um, or one key element about Shaheen is he never loses his head. Uh, no matter how difficult the circumstances are, you will never sense frustration from him or panic. He's always calm, which is a very good trait to have. Um, so that's basically uh, a very good um, character trait to have. So well done with that. Um, so, uh, before we took a break, we basically discussed um, tactics um, and like what it means to basically press high, what it means to play out from the back, and what it means to basically suffocate your opposition. So, now, guys, um, quickly, as we are about to embark on a different journey, we are about to challenge teams now. Like, um, what do you think is more important, or what's the most important thing uh, that you guys need to take forward as you basically take up on a new challenge of, because you know each other now, when you play other teams, you don't know them, they don't know you. So, who wants to go first? I can go. You go, go. Uh, Firstly, communication. Yes. Yeah, uh, we're lacking, uh, we lacking too much communication, and like, that's the uh, most thing we need in our uh, team, in like, here, yeah, coach. And like, uh, this thing of dribbling at the back while like, uh, people are pressing you, like, I don't know what's going on. Okay, yeah, communication, uh, communication. don't take unnecessary risks, no way to take risks. Um, what else, who also wants to take this one? Yes, okay. Uh, I wanted to say, you know, before we... Teamwork. Teamwork. Good one. Ricky? 
Um, this is a very important one. Mm -hmm. Giving up. We need to stop giving up. Like, if we're losing like 4 0, no, people just start giving up. They start not working. They just, they're floppy. They're, they're stressed. They're frustrated. They just focus on kicking the ball, kicking the player. They're not focused on playing nicely, scoring goals. So, yeah, giving up. We need okay. to work on that. What about you, Ms. Echo? Well, I just think we need to keep persevering, stop giving up, as Ricky said. Mm -hmm. Fix communication. Yeah. Okay. So, one of the things that I picked up from you guys as um, standing on the sidelines and analyzing you is that um, as you communicate, it's not just communication, it's effective communication, right? Um, you need to encourage your teammates. Like I said to you, being 4 0 down is not a bad place to be, you know, because, you know, through adversity, that's when you basically learn how to become better, you know. And I think you become complacent when you're on the other side of the court, when you're leading 4 0. You probably think that the game is done and does that. So that's where you probably need to turn things around, flip the script, and actually turn the odds to your favor. That's, that's the most important thing. But I think what I would like to see from you guys is uh, chemistry. Like, you need to develop chemistry. It's important in football, understanding each other. Understand your teammates' strengths. Like, what are their weaknesses, what are their strengths, so that you can play to their strengths uh, and not their weaknesses, right? So it's, it's very important. For instance, if I'm, if I'm going to play a final ball, and maybe, like, I see Shaquille is in place, I need to understand what sort of ball I'm going to be playing for Shaquille, because maybe he's not comfortable with me playing the ball in front of him. Maybe he's comfortable with me playing the ball directly to his feet, and then he can be able to tackle that, you know. So understanding your teammate helps you basically simplify the job even much more easier. And the other thing, as you challenge, guys, remember what I told you, the teammates will always sense when there's a um, when there's a disconnection within you. So you cannot afford to fight amongst each other. Once they sense that, they will pass. So effective communication, building chemistry, understanding each other, know where to take um, high reward risk, and then you'll be able to basically beat anybody, just about anybody. In football, when you play with your mind, you have um, an edge a competitive edge over your teammates because you plan each and every move. You can almost tell where the ball is going to go. You can almost tell what the next move should be. So that's the difference between creators and basically like uh, um, assistants, you know. So like I said to you the other day, it's very easy to assist, but it's difficult to create. When you create, you need vision. You need to see, you need image, imagination. You need to see things before they fall. So when you can see that, it makes that a bit more easier. So guys, um, the last talking points now, um, before we close off, let's talk about where we need to improve now. As a team um, and as an individual. Um, so we can start with you, Captain. So, individually, I think I need to improve on my passes. Like, my long balls, they're not accurate. I just, I just trust my feet. I, I think with my feet, not my brain when it comes to passing. Mm -hmm. And as a team, I've said this before and I'll say it again, reading the spaces, like nobody reads spaces. Like I've, I've seen too many spaces that someone can just run into and score a goal, but they just want to receive the ball, dribble, dribble. They want to become the spotlight. In football, it's not a one-man game. Mm -hmm. It's a whole team. You play with the team, you don't play by yourself. That's the whole point of football, your team. It's teamwork. Yeah. That, that's exactly why there's a sport called football, for teamwork and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 